Initiated by a non-governmental organization, New Era Foundation, founded by the wife of a former governor of Lagos State, distinguished Senator Oluremi Tinubu in the year 2001, the Spelling Bee competition has so far produced 16 winners. So who will be crowned the 17th winner of the prestigious Spelling Bee competition for the year 2018? The annual competition started from the preliminary stages across the 57 local government and local council development areas to produce 57,000 contestants for the grand finale in both the primary and secondary categories. On Monday 29 October 2018, the 57 contestants in the primary category across the state converged at Adeyemi Bero Auditorium, Alaosa Secretariat, supported by family, friends and fellow students. Let me remind all the contestants here that you are With the formalities done with, contestants under the directive of the anchor person took to the business of the day. After a keenly contested spelling competition, Sheidu Abdul Hafiz from Dokwamu Primary School Agege came first, while Sahid Ismaila UPN Primary School Syrian One Leki came second. Mrs. Adebumi Adekoye, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, commended participants and their trainers for their excellent performance. You can see that our primary school pupils have proved themselves. You could see the way they spelled even tongue twisting words that could be difficult even for adults, but they did it seamlessly and we are proud of them. My message to them, more power to your elbows, continue in the quest for knowledge. We have seen how much you have read and studied to come this far. In her words, the Board Secretary State Universal Basic Education Board, Mrs. Abosedi Adilaja, said the output is a testament of the attention given to primary education in the state. Today's performance is an improved one, and I know it can still be better. It's a way of improving English language, pronunciation, spelling, and to even improve their writing skill. Because if you know spellings, you will write well. My message to all the winners is that they should keep the flag flying, they should not go and relent on their hands, and to work harder. Victoria's contestants and their teachers shared their experiences. I feel very happy and joyous. Through the help of my teacher, Mr. Kokola, my brother, Abdubasit, and the, my tutorial, Sir Abib's tutorial. And I, and I want to tell them a very big thank you for all they have done for me. The secret behind this is that I know it's a competition and everybody will want to win. So it takes extra effort for you to now um, outshine others. So we have a lot in studying some of those new words, even going outside the Spelling Bean Bible, and um, it takes a lot of time. And on Tuesday, 30th October, it was time to know the next one-day governor as a secondary school category held. In her welcome address, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Adebumi Adekonye, said the competition since inception has helped to improve the spelling skills, oral and written English of pupils, students and spectators alike. The competition has helped to improve the spelling skills, the oral and the written English of pupils, students and even the spectators alike. As I speak here to Nigerians, parents, Teachers, people, students, and many professionals are sitting by their television sets. 
ready to watch the competition that has become a household name. The permanent secretary further stated that the prestige and privileges that accompany winning the contest was responsible for motivating the students. The prestige and privileges that come with winning the spelling bee contest has therefore become a great motivating factor for the contest. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Idi Atadibuli, commended all winners from each local government and local council development areas for their dedication. Dr. Adibuli expressed satisfaction for the brilliance displayed by the participants, adding that the competition has boosted reading habits among young students in the state. Just like previous editions, this year's event has been highly educative and competitive. And of course, we produce the winner soon. And it is the pleasure to be part of this year that has been made today. We did very regret by the performance of the past competitors in the grand finale of the primary and secondary school categories. You will agree with me that every year we continue to experience improvements in the areas of presentation and vocabulary development. Chaired on by their parents, fellow students and school administrators across the education district, the 57 contestants, one after the other, took to the stage. Tell the word, Commonwealth, Commonwealth. C-O-M-M-O-N-W-E-A-L-T-H. Congrats, give a round of applause. Baccalaureate. B-A-C-C-A-L-A-U-R-E-A-T. It was a show of brilliance, articulation and authority as the number of contestants was reduced to five. And the winner of the 2018 annual Spelling Bee competition and the next one day governor of Lagos State was Miss Ajala Gloria from Lafayette Senior High School, Lagos Island. Ike Riale Grace of Tinkan Island Senior High School placed second, while Akimbodewa Oluwa Tosi of Iworo Ajido Senior Secondary School came third. The Group Public Relations and Events Manager of Dufil Prima Foods, one of the leading sponsors of the event, Tokpe Ashiwaju, said they decided to sponsor the competition to enhance the learning outcome for students in the state. I can see the children are so uh, happy to be here. It's a pool of um, students together in ensuring that, of course, they continue to um, exhibit uh, good uh, diction and, of course, ability to spell correctly. And, of course, it also helps them in their education. And that's where, as a company, we just continue to sponsor uh, this project. Contestants, their teachers and parents share their experiences. District TV, that's the district I'm from. They help a lot. Like, we always go, like, like three days in a week or two days. We'll go there and they'll groom us, watch some films that, like, that are motivational. I want to thank the teacher a lot because, like, he's been, he's been there for me. He's, he, as in, he doesn't let me rest in class. The teacher has been in the class and he will call me, we'll sit down together, we'll practice words and, and, and one of the words we practice was actually my winning words today. The stress we went through before this summer success to come around was not easy at all. We trained in school, we trained at the districts. In fact, my thank goes to my principal, who has always been there for us at all times. Then of course also, our TG, Tutor General, also assisted. He designed a program for all those who are, I mean, contesting to be groomed properly. And of course, they were properly groomed. I appreciate all the teacher that God has used for her. I know that it's not because of their efforts. Today might not be fulfilled, but I thank God that today God has done this work. My, my child is the one that's very ready to learn anytime, any day. She doesn't, she's not lazy in all the aspects. Especially anytime you just call her for the matter of book, education, she's ready. I feel elated, I feel ecstatic, I'm happy. At first it was hectic, but I started loving it because it gives you the opportunity to know. 
Ajala, the winner of the 2018 Spelling Bee competition, is a 14-year-old student of Lafayette Senior High School. The annual competition for public primary and secondary schools in Lagos has so far produced 17 one-day governors in the state.